In this masterclass, I'm going to dissect the two things I told you, Google and social media. I'm going to dissect Google into search engine marketing and search engine optimization and social media. I'm going to dissect that into Facebook and Instagram ads. So let's start with the first one, search engine marketing. Now, if you forgot what search engine marketing is, look at this screen again. When you type something on Google, what comes on the top as an ad is known as search engine marketing. Okay. So if your website is not ranking on Google, pay Google, come as an ad so that when someone types something related to your business, you click on it and they'll come to your website. So let's take this case of someone who goes to Google and types wooden furniture online. Now, when someone goes to Google and types wooden furniture online, what I can tell you about the customer is that there's a very high chance that the customer is going to buy wooden furniture within the next seven to 14 days. What you need to do is you need to make yourself available out there. Now, quickly have a look at these listings out here. You see these listings right now out here? All of these are Google ads because if you look at the top right section out here, it's something known as sponsored, which means all these brands out here, Pepper Fry, Hometown, all these brands are paying Google and are doing sponsored ads on Google for the word wooden furniture online, hoping that the person who types wooden furniture online will click on one of these ads, come to their website and eventually make a purchase. If you also see the two links below it, which is this one and this one, you will realize that these are also ads. So all I'm trying to say is that if your website is not ranking on the first page of Google, make a Google ad because the person who's gone to Google and type wooden furniture online is going to buy in the next 14 days. So if you own a business that provides wooden furniture online, you must be on the top searches of Google. Now that's search engine marketing for you. So let me give you a really cool example of how Google ads was used differently by someone. This example is about a guy called Alex Brownstein. Now, Alex Brownstein wanted to work at a creative marketing agency. What he did is he went and found the names of the top six directors who run these creative marketing companies in New York. And what he did was he went ahead and made Google ads on their names, hoping that if these top six directors ever one day Google their own name, there will be an ad on the top on their name by Alex Brownstein asking them to hire him. Check out this video and you will realize the power of Google ads. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that if you want to ensure that when someone types something on Google, your website comes first, you can totally do that by paying Google. I'll give you an example of how IIDE uses this. Have a look at this. When somebody goes to Google and types PG, which is post-graduation in digital marketing, you can see that the top ad that comes out there, which is the first result, is actually an ad by IIDE, which says PG program, digital marketing, two-month compulsory internship. All I'm trying to tell you is that if you have a product and somebody is searching for something relevant on Google, ensure you have an ad on Google and you're placed as the first link because there's a very high chance that people will click on it, come to your website, and then you can make them fill a form and they'll make an inquiry. And sooner or later, a high chance will actually convert them into a paying customer. So this was search engine marketing, also known as Google ads, also known as SEM. Let's get to the next topic, which is again very important on Google, which is known as search engine optimization.